Hello YouTube, welcome to our very first DIY video. So as you read in the title, we're going to make a tripwire. Now you probably all know what a tripwire is. Um, basically if someone trips on a line or something similar, it'll set off something. And in this case, it's going to be a little alarm. So our parts are going to be something as a small structure, such as this little outlet cover panel um, made out of metal. Just thought it would look nice with this. Um, the battery holder, 9 volt battery holder. Um, it can be anything around like maybe 6 volts, 4.5 volts, 9 volts, and even 12 volts. Um, I got the 9 volt battery Durso, um, favorite battery, battery brand. We've got some double sided foam tape, um, double sided adhesive tape stuff, and also a clothespin. And I also put on each side, I put some industrial tape to make connection, um, some wire. I'm just using one color because, you know, it's not like anyone's going to need to know what is what. They don't need to really know, need to know the polarity. And the alarm so i mean i have another alarm about this big but that would just be big compared to this and we want it to stay small considerably small so i also have this smaller one that's somewhat loud um i'll test it out for you that's how loud it is As you can see it's loud so if someone to trip over it and you were somewhat far away another room you'd definitely hear it maybe not as loud as you're in the same room but you'd still hear it so what the industrial tape is industrial tape is um a conductive tape because it's got metal in it the outside part so what happens is we're going to start off we're going to start off by taking this battery pack and i'm going to use some of this tape maybe like a piece about this big will work. Um, we don't want to use it in like single pieces. So we'll cut it into two smaller pieces. About in half. Um, take the little covering off one side. Pretty simple. You know, put one like that. And the next one. like this so I mean if you're making and I mean and you might have a different battery pack so it will stick differently depending on what it is you can use any enclosure I recommend something small so I'm gonna start by taking these taking this Ooh, it's not sticking very well just give me a second figure out what to do all right, so I'll cut these. I'm just gonna cut these in half again, real quick. Put them on the corners because this this is like got a bunch of different leveling. So this should probably work. Smaller one, smaller one. There we go. Um, cut this one in half, just like before. Uh, sorry if this video is getting kind of long, but if you're really looking to make a little tripwire alarm. It'll be worth it in the end. Trust me. Jesus, this is not good at sticking. Okay, this does not want to stick. So, for now, let me think. Okay, so for now, I guess we won't connect that. But we're going to start by taking this. So what happens is basically for the piece. So what happens is, let's say this is the piece that goes in here. When this is slipped in here. Like that. See, it's since it's between all the metal, the metal conductive material, it's blocking all conduction. And so the alarm will not go off. So now we're going to take some of this wire. We'll sh I'll shorten the wire if needed. So you know it 
more is better than less. Cut this in half. It's about good for now. So each of these strips, um, so I'm gonna take one. I don't have really wire strippers on right now. They're in the garage. Let's do what I always do. <laughs> Strip it with my teeth. And so, I'm gonna strip one about that long. Another one about that long. This one will connect to the battery pack. This one will go to the clothespin. Now do the same for the other wire. Strip one far. Strip one about normal size. Now, um, like this, if I put, connect this wire right here like this, if I connect the wire to there, and one to here, and the alarm were to be connected here, also the battery and back, um, this would be going off right now. But, if I had this in there, it wouldn't, because the plastic is an insulator that would block it. So, that's a little bit of an explanation how this works. So, I'm going to take the, some more industrial tape. Take a strip out like this. Alright. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take this and put this and just kind of stick it to the non-conductive side, the sticky side of the tape. Now, it doesn't matter if it's non-conductive or not, because it's going to stick it to the conductive part of the other part of the tape on the clothespin. So now, I'm going to stick this down like this. So it's like this right now. And I'll open the clothespin. Well, this in here, I mean, it's not easy for you, it probably won't be easy for you guys to see, but, um... So it looks close to the same as before, so now it's got a wire in it, and we really don't want this wire coming out. I mean, it could come out, but if we're careful it won't because it'll be stuck to the top of this thing like this, but we're not ready for that part. So it's time for the other strip. Do the same thing, do it on the other side. Of the clothespin, just like before. Repeat the same step. Remove the covering from the tape. Once again, stick the wire to it. All right. So now, once we've done that. Repeat the same, then shorten it to the wanted size so it's not too much excess left. Um, Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so again we got both wires on. So they're not polarized yet, they're both the same color, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter anyway. We'll figure it out as we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and stick it through that little loop right there. Because that way, it won't get in the way of anything when I use some tape to stick it down. And, okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Actually, actually, here we go, here we go, hold on. Um, so we're gonna use some of that foam tape and put it about right there. Then we're gonna stick the wires down that hole and it'll go to the battery and the alarm. So I'm going to use some of this. Okay, I'm gonna use some tape. This is stuff is getting 
kind of dull. Yeah, pretty dull. Alright, so first we're going to stick some of this there and then stick the yarn to it. So it's like that. This will go right here. Alright, so that's the alarm part right there. And also for the tripwire, we're going to use some clear fishing line, which I'll just pause the video and go out and get that when we need it. And for this, we're going to need to make a little hole for the hook out right here. So, I mean, this, it's a little clothes tab that you get in, like, suits and stuff. I found it in the laundry room, and it's kind of per it's perfect for this, actually. Stick that in, and it blocks all conduction. Just like that. Like I already showed you, but just doing that again in case you forgot how it worked, which I'm sure you didn't. I'm sure you're all smart. Alright, so for the hole, it's going to be a little tricky, but we can kind of fold the tip like that. Ah, stupid tape. Get out of my way. Can I make a little slit right there? Alright, it's kind of hard to see, but you might be able to see a little of a light difference right there. Um, hold on, I'll try and make that hole a little bigger. Alright, I'm done. You can actually see the hole now. That's where we're going to tie the string around it. And just for a little extra insula insulation, I'm going to put some of this masking tape on the larger portion of the clothespin. I mean, not the clothespin, the clothes tab. Oh, this is a little crooked. I'm trying to make it as close to perfect as I can. Alright. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, either way, without this, it's still going to block conduction. So, it's, I mean, I'm going to kind of cut it down to size because we don't need that much extra. Just enough in case this isn't fully in place. All right, YouTube, so pretty much I've finished everything. So, I've taken some fishing line, connected it to our little iron slater. So,. You know, I lost the footage of me fidgeting the rest, but, um, I put the trip wire on here, set it all up, whoops, well, that's it working, we, you all know it works now, the battery pack right here, and the buzzer, so it's all ready, so, see, since you just heard it work, that's the insulator working, 